What up, what up? Winbush here, and today I'm excited to give you guys this quick tip in Photoshop on how to create normal maps. Now, I'm started off in Photoshop. I have this albedo or diffuse map here that I got from Quixel. And so if I have just like a diffuse map and I need to make like a bump map or a normal map, you can easily do that in Photoshop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my, my box here just so I make sure I have it selected. I'm gonna come over to image and then come down to duplicate. And I just want to make a copy of it just because if something happens, I don't want to accidentally save over top of this one. So I made a duplicate so I can apply the effect to this layer. So if I come over to filter and then come down to 3D, we have two options here. So you can either make a normal map or a bump map. The normal map has more information in it. It's what I usually use. But if you want to make a bump map or a displacement, you have that option here as well. So let me click on generate normal map. And then once this pops up, you can actually see the different displacement that this normal map is going to generate. And so we do have some options over here on the right hand side, like we can invert the height if we want to. So if I click on this, you can see it happening in real time here too on the left hand side where I have my normal map. You can see when I invert it, it's actually going to flip my normals. So depending on what you want it to do, we can blur it out here as well. If you want to just kind of feather it down or if you want to make it more sharp, just move it over to the left. And then we have our scale detail, which let me move this over to the left here. You can see it's wiping away a lot of the detail here. So you usually want to keep it at 120, but for whatever reason, if you want to soften it a little bit, you can always lessen the scale there. Then if you look down here in the lower left-hand corner, if you click on sphere, you have some other shapes that you can see as well. If you want to see how your normal map would look on like a donut or a hat or a pyramid, then if I look up in here in the top right hand corner under lighting presets, if I click on this, we have a bunch of different lighting presets that we could use as well, just to kind of see how our normal map is going to react to the different lighting situations. And then up here in the left hand corner where it says 3D move, this is basically just for your viewports here. So if you want to spin it around, if you want to have it orbit, if you want to kind of pan around the screen, just if you needed to control this, pretty much like how you would use in a 3D app or if you're in After Effects, the controls go the same way. So once you're done and you're happy with your settings, just click OK and then everything should be good to go. If I look down here in my layers palette, looks like we have a normal map there. So you just save it out and then use your normal map and your 3D application of your choice and you should be good to go. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I want to give everybody on my Discord channel a shout out, especially Hollow Woodsman. He's the one that brought this one to my attention. I thought I covered this before, but I can't find it. So I just wanted to make a quick video on how to make a normal map out of Photoshop. As always, subscribe to the channel. Give me a big thumbs up. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.